All right, so now again, all we're doing is we're just adding layers to our equations. So now this is what's considered um, solving multi-step equations. So we started with one-step equations, then we transitioned to two-step equations, and now we're doing multi-step equations. So with multi-step equations, you may have to do the distributed property, which just means you multiply through the parentheses, um, and then you'll have to move things across the, the equal sign when we get to the, the larger values. So let's try these first two. So I have a number on the outside of parentheses, and I have something on the inside of parentheses. What this means is I'm multiplying this two by everything inside my set of parentheses. So what this looks like is I'm multiplying the two times the x, and I get, get my pens ready here, I get 2x. Then I'm multiplying the 2 times the 3, and I get 6. So remember, it's 2 times a positive 3, which is a positive 6. And then I just continue. Well, all I did is this is the extra added step. Now I have a two-step equation. So this is exactly what we always work back to. So I'm going to subtract 6, subtract 6. That cancels it. I end up with 2x equals negative 2. Now I'm at a one-step equation. I'm dividing by 2, dividing by 2. That cancels. I end up with x equals negative 2 divided by 2 is a negative 1. You can always check. Always, always, always go back and check. So if I plug this back into the original, I have negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So inside the parentheses, I end up with 2. 2 times 2 does give me 4, so I know that that is the correct answer. Okay, let's try it again. Over here, negative 3 times my parentheses, so I'm going to distribute. So negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Put a mark here. Negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3. Then on the outside of parentheses, I have plus 4. Notice I am not going to multiply this negative 3 times the 4 because all it's saying is multiply the negative 3 times the set of parentheses. This pl plus 4 is just an added bonus. All right, and then we say it equals 12. So now we're going to clean it up, clean up on each side of the equal sign. So remember like terms, so I can add my 3 and my 4. So I have negative 3x plus 7 equals 12 back to a two-step equation. So I am subtracting 7. That gets rid of my 7. I end up with negative 3x equals 5. 12 minus 7 is 5. This is my one-step equation. This is showing multiplication. So I'm going to get rid of my negative 3 by dividing. So I end up with x equals negative 5 thirds. That is a great answer. There's nothing wrong with that answer. You can always double check. So I can plug my negative 5 thirds back in. Let me erase some of this so we have some room. So if I go negative 3 times negative 5 thirds minus 1. So remember when you're adding fractions you need a common denominator. So 1 is the same as 3 thirds plus 4. Does that equal 12? So let's keep going. So negative 5 thirds minus 3 thirds. This is a negative 8 thirds plus 4. So here I'm multiplying, so I can cross cancel my 3's. So negative 1 times negative 8 is positive 8. Plus 4 does give me 12, so I know that my 5 thirds is the correct answer. Let's try a couple more. We're going to add, keep adding layers. So a multi-step equation is just all about adding layers. But what's going to happen is it will always take you back to a two-step and then to a one-step equation. And getting a fraction is completely OK. You can totally get an, a, a fraction answer. That, that totally works. All right, here we go. So let's try um, negative 4 times x minus 1 equals 2 times x plus 4. Okay, so this is a little bit different. This is adding another layer. I have x's on both sides of the equal sign. Your job is to get all the x's to one side and all the numbers to the other. Okay, so we're going to do this in layers. 
first things first, every time you see parentheses, you're going to distribute that negative 4 through. So negative 4 times x is a negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 1 is plus 4. Then I'm going to jump over here and do the exact same thing. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, so you haven't seen this before. We have x's on both sides of the equal sign. So I'm going to take this 2x and I'm going to move it over here. Well, when I cross that equal sign, the only way I can do that is if I add the opposite. So to move a whole term over, I'm going to add the opposite because if I have 2x minus 2x, that cancels on that side. But again, whatever I do to one side of the equal sign, I have to do to the other. So I'm going to subtract 2x on this side. So now that cancels. So look what I have. I have negative 6x plus 4 equals 8, two-step equation, which you guys already know how to do. You're going to subtract 4. 4 goes away. Negative 6x equals 4, 8 minus 4. One-step equation. I'm uh, dividing by negative 6, not subtracting. Dividing, because this is showing multiplication, so I'm dividing, which cancels that. So I end up with x equals a negative. 4 6 can be reduced to 2 thirds. So it's a negative 2 thirds. So all I did is I divided 2 into both of those. 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 goes into 6 three times. Okay. So again, I can come back up here, plug my answer back in, and you will um, see that it, is, that it does work. All right. Just for time's sake, I'm not going to do that. All right. Let's try one more. So these are, again, are called multi-step equations. We've just added layers. The goal is to get it back to a two-step equation. OK. so. When I do this one, all I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute this negative through. So pretend like that's a negative 1. So I multiply through. I get negative x minus 1 plus 3. Jump over here. Multiply through. Negative 5x minus 15 plus 4. And again, the plus 3 is extra. The plus 4 is extra. It does not get, get multiplied through. Now I'm going to clean it up. So I have negative x. Negative 1 and 3 is 2. I have negative 5x. Negative 15 and 4 is a negative 11. Now I'm back to what we just did. I have x's on both sides. So I'm going to bring my 5x over as a plus 5x. That cancels. I end up with 4x plus 2 equals negative 11. Back to a two-step equation. 2's go away. 4x equals negative 13, and divide by 4. So I hope what you're seeing is that it's the same steps over and over again. It's just a matter of keeping track of your, your steps. All right?